Hey everybody, not the usual video today. Today we are on a reset here in Moncton, New Brunswick, or I guess this is Salisbury, New Brunswick at the big stop we stopped at last night. Uh, gotta be here till tomorrow. We'll leave tomorrow morning sometime. Uh, I had to reset my logbooks before going to the US. In Canada, I was good to go for like another week. I could have recapped my hours, but uh, the United States government thinks that I need a break. So here we are taking a break. Had to have a day off so that we can go down to Georgia. Haven't gotten much done today. Went for a long walk with Diesel. I slept in. Then I had a nap. And now I'm gonna go and try to do some laundry. I, I went in there to check the laundry situation just a few minutes ago, and there's only one washer and one dryer. So, if somebody's using it, we're kinda out of luck. I'm kinda thinking of maybe just stopping on the way down at a bigger US truck stop where they have like, you know, 10 washers and 10 dryers or something, like, or more anyways than just one. I kinda like Love's Travel Plazas for that because there you can just use your credit card or your debit card or your points card and operate the machines like that. But for all the Flying Jays I've seen and the big stops here in uh, the Maritimes of Canada, uh, you need coins still. It's kind of inconvenient because you know you gotta go get a, uh, some cash out of the bank account, go to the till, exchange it for coins, and then you have all these coins. Or it's just a little bit of a hassle. I know, it's first world problems, but I, I prefer just to be able to use my card. I don't like having cash on me at all. So that's pretty much what we've been doing, sitting around all day today. So I didn't really put together a, a video because there's nothing really to to video about. But me and you, I guess we'll just hang out for a couple of hours here or see if we can uh, put together a vlog for you. Uh, maybe we'll do a live stream later today and do some questions and answers. But other than that, uh, yeah, I'll show you the laundry situation in the, the big stop here. It's a really nice truck stop, really nice. It's just, I was expecting a little bit more of a laundry room, but you know, you can't have everything. <laughs> They've got all these Tesla tar charging stations here. And like normal, they're all empty, not being used. They also got what they call a bark park right over there, that white fence, uh, where you can let your dog run around, but it's, it's kind of a small, area for diesel it's a uh, probably better off for a bit of a smaller dog it's only a four foot fence too and see this is somewhat of the fence we're putting up around our yard except ours is gonna be six feet high it's gonna have those same slats except everything's gonna be black posts mesh slats it's all gonna be black this is their little park park see they got a little fire hydrant over there doggy bags and stuff so it's cool it's nice of them to offer this. I really like it when truck stops do that because so many drivers out here uh, travel with their dogs. It's nice to have a place to sort of let them off leash to run around a bit. We got a couple of kids over there revving up their engines on their Civics. Oh, it brings back memories of when I was a kid. Then I grew up and realized the errors of my ways and I got a truck. I guess in summertime they offer ice cream cones here. That's nice, they got everything. Got a nice big restaurant in here as well. They have the flag flying properly and lit up at night. So many people don't light up their flags. If you fly it at night, it's supposed to be lit. Mine never was, I know. But at the new house that we're building, at our spot, I'm having a new flagpole put up there, and that's going to be lit at night for sure. This is what we got. Ugh. Fold up these socks here. Wait for my blankets and sheets to dry. That's that. Riveting entertainment, right? Riveting. Oh, 
here. They got nice lounges in here. They got some really good internet here too. You're out in the parking lot. And the best part, something that Flying J can't even boast about. It's super fast and it's super free. The Flying J premium Wi-Fi has nothing on their Wi-Fi here. Uh, even with all these guys here, I'm sure a lot of them are streaming inside their trucks. I'm still hitting about 10 megabits per second upload or download and upload at the back of the lot. That's fast. It smells like laundry in here. <laughs> God, everything's all cleaned up. I'm gonna get this sheet on here. Fresh laundry. I love the smell of fresh laundry. I don't always do laundry on the road. I try not to. It's To me, it's a waste of money if I can just do it at home. But uh, it's also a little bit of a hassle too, always going in and out and getting it all done. Unless if they have like enough washers to get everything done at once. But often when they have that many washers, that's because they have a lot of people wanting to use them. So if you use them all, then they can't use them also. Hmm. Dilemmas. So I'm going to set up bed here and uh, relax. You know, I always have all these things I want to do on my day off. I'm like, the days leading up to my reset, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get that done. We're going to clean this up, clean that up. The day comes and I end up just relaxing all day and just enjoying the day off, getting nothing done. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. But clean bedding is important. And like I always tell you guys, I travel with my dog and uh, you know, I'm not perfect, but I try to get better and better as time goes on, you know. I like to keep the truck clean, especially because this truck isn't mine, right? It was different. I found when I own the truck and it's mine, I don't keep it as clean. And I know I don't I know it's not very good, but when it's not my truck, I seem to have more, I don't know if you want to call it respect for it. It's not mine, so I want to keep it like brand new and clean. So I actually take care of it better when it's not my truck. I'm like that with a lot of things too, you know. It's like I was telling you when I uh borrowed the father-in-law's truck when uh, my truck was getting work done on it. I treat his truck like gold. Man, I've never brought that RPM over like 2,000. Just putt, putt, putt everywhere. I don't even, I don't mess around. But if it was my truck and I had exhaust like that on my truck, oh, bah, bah, you'd hear me going all over the place. Not speeding, not speeding. I can't figure this sheet out. But uh, I would probably just like the sound of my engine a little bit better. I can tell that he likes the sound of his engine because when I get into it, the fuel economy, it shows on the dash, his fuel economy is pretty bad. And whenever I have it, I get his fuel economy better in the short amount of time I have it. But I don't blame him, I don't blame him. Like I said, if I had exhaust on my truck like he has on his, I'd like the sound of my truck too. I'd want to hear it all the time. That costs fuel. But that also reminds me, I gotta make an appointment uh, for my pickup to get detailed when I get home. I promised myself, remember I told you, I'm a man of my word. So next time when I get home, which will be next week, I'm gonna get my truck detailed. I gotta make an appointment. I'm gonna get a professional to do it because it's always done better that way. Always. And my truck is really dirty. I have diesel in my pickup all the time, going to and from the semi truck, right? So if I don't clean that, and I never stay on top of, on top of that truck like I do in here because I'm not in that truck very often. So it gets, it gets dirty. You can definitely tell there's a dog that rides in my pickup truck. So I'm probably gonna have to pay him extra. <laughs> that truck is pretty dirty. It's shamefully dirty. I'm ashamed of it. I don't even want people to see it. I don't even like taking my wife in there because then she tells everybody how dirty my pickup is. <laughs> oh well. So when I get home, we'll make that appointment. Or actually, you know what? I should probably call them tomorrow and get that appointment set up. 
and then hopefully I can keep it clean through the winter and then I'll have to get it detailed again in spring because uh, well if you live in a nor northern climate you know how dirty things get in the winter time all right diesel pull in the back pull in the back I set up your bed for you let's check it out doesn't it smell nice smell like nice and fresh man very cozy very nice we went on a nice walk before yeah got about probably uh i'm guessing we probably walked about two miles something like that felt good oh i gotta do my pillow yet anyways there's not much more i can show you today so uh i'll talk to you tomorrow thanks for tuning in not much going on today just our day off hanging out tomorrow we will start our journey down to georgia Hope you tune in. We'll see you then.